truly a magnificent capital of India, New Delhi. Resplendent in early spring, plenty of landmarks, heritage monuments, and of course, sporting tradition as well. Oh, what a wonderful sight. The Delhi Gymkhana Club host once again of the Davis Cup by Rakuten World Group 1 playoffs. It's India, the home team, taking on Denmark. Good morning. It's early spring. It's just beautiful this time of the year in New Delhi. And of course, doubly beautiful here at the Delhi Gymkhana Club with this magnificent lawns and uh, the grass courts, which have been prettied for this uh, historic tie. I say historic because it's been years since the action was here at the Delhi Gymkhana Club. But one man who knows a lot about it is standing to my left. A very warm welcome to Vijay Amritraj. Vijay, the Davis Cup, you know, it conjures up so many fabulous memories of tennis fans in India and of course around the world. And I'm sure you follow them. So if we start off on that, we'll take all day, but <laughs> yes. it's great to be back here at the yes. Delhi Gymkhana. Well, first and foremost, Shara, great to see you. Thank you, sir. And I could almost say Happy New Year to you, even <laughs> if it's rather late. But at the end of the day, the setup here is spectacular. I do believe that uh, this is where tennis needs to be played more on, and grass courts at Delhi Gymkhana Club, absolutely spectacular. Brings back great memories for me because I actually... Uh, won here the first Indian Grand Prix way back in 1973 and it still feels like it was yesterday. So I'm l really looking forward to this Davis Cup match on grass in Delhi for the first time in such a long time. And uh, I think it's going to be a terrific match, but we're going to start off with India as a favourite. Well, we certainly hope so. Yesterday, once more, and India has done very well on grass, which is why I suppose this uh, surface was chosen. And uh, you mentioned maybe advantage India. We'll talk about that a little later. Yes. But just the way this has been set up here at the Gymkhana and so many agencies working towards the making of this Davis Cup tie, the AITA, the DLTA, the Gymkhana Club as well, done a magnificent job. And I hope that we'll have plenty of people too, which is a wonderful addition in these times. Well, several reasons, because first of all, the setup is quite spectacular, as we know. Uh, the entire food court around it, and all of the, uh, it looks magnificent, truly, honestly, and the grass makes it even better. But more than anything else, I think the weather is terrific. It's a perfect day to come out and watch tennis and uh, support the Indian team, of course. But more than anything else, the setup is so good. And all of them, as you just mentioned, have done such a brilliant job in putting this together that uh, I'm truly looking forward to two days of spectacular tennis and an India win. Yeah, we all are. Tennis on grass just looks so magnificent. Of course, apart from the people who made it here at the Delhi Gymkhana, thank you all for joining us on television, other devices, wherever you are. Now, we've talked about perhaps the advantage going to India, but what about the two captains? What do they think? Mr. Nielsen and Rohit Rajpal in conversation about their chances. Traditionally, if you see all our seniors, uh, India has always done well on grass in Davis Cup. The All India Tennis Association, the selectors, and uh, all of us sat down and, you know, we felt that uh, choosing grass would be in India's best interest. Whereas, um, you know, also we looked at the discomfort for the other side. I think if they want to play our players, the last thing they want to do is play on grass. Of course, they picked this because they think it's an advantage for them. and. There's reason to believe that because they have very experienced players who have a lot of uh, years behind them on the grass. Our guys haven't had that many experiences to play on the grass. We believe in our chances. We have faith in the boys and uh, we're looking forward to giving them a good match. You know, I focus on, on making sure that the team is together and the team uh, peaks with their form at the right time. And I work very closely with the coach to make sure that, you know, the drills or certain weaknesses or certain strengths that we're looking at are enhanced during this time at the right time. Mm -hmm. Our boys are looking strong. Uh, have played a lot of matches this year and uh, we're always excited to play Davis Cup together and it's not been so long since the last one we played late last year against Morocco so we kind of have the momentum from that tie going and uh, we're really excited about the tie. Well, good to see the Danish team in good spirits, but I wonder how they're going to perform because, quite obviously, they don't play much on grass. The Indian team plays just a little more on grass and Rohit Rajpal admitting that it's going to be an advantage. Now, should we play that up quite a bit or do you think, uh, you know, anything can happen because the game goes by so quickly on grass, which as you know? Well, India certainly has the edge, no question about it. But at the end of the day, keep in mind the Davis Cup, anything can happen and the edge is slight. It's not an overwhelming advantage, but I do believe it is an advantage for India. And our boys have played well on grass. Ram Kumar likes to get into the net a lot. Yuki likes to move forward. Both of them serve very well. But 
the Danes are wild cards. You know, they can go for broke. They have nothing to lose. They're playing away from home. It's like we did against Denmark way back in uh, 84 when we beat them in Aarhus on very, very wet clay with zero degree temperature and the cold was so much. But we still managed to pull it off because we were the wild cards at that time. So I think you've got to watch them very closely, get ahead, a set in the break, and that's going to make the difference. And of course, just a bit of a breeze here as well at the Delhi Gymkhana courts. I wonder if that's going to bother the players. But uh, talking about the players, we heard from the captains. How are the players feeling about this tie. Here's a quick look. I think definitely India's uh, favorites, having the home crowd, the uh, home facilities, everything. When you're playing a World Group tie, it's a World Cup of Tennis. You're not going to get an easy team or an easy match. You know, that's understood for everybody. The Southern Volley, you know, like playing first strike tennis is, is crucial here. And I think we, we have a lot of good guys competing on this grass, so that'll be fantastic for us. Yeah, I like our chances. Um, no matter what, it's Davis Cup, anything can happen. So we uh, play for, uh, for the win for sure. I think on paper you can classify and there's a series, but you still have to be ready in sport. Every day matters. That day especially matters. How well you prepared, how well, how confident you're going into tie, and that's going to be the most important key. So hopefully India can put their best foot forward, and if we do that, I don't think we should have any problems. They probably played more in grass than we had, but I'm sure we have a good chance because we're going to go for our, our shots and we're going to make some plays. But yeah, it's going to be fun. It's one of the, the toughest nations you can face for sure. So the key is to you know really get those singles points, get those singles wins on, uh, you know, Friday and then uh, follow it up by, uh, you know, doubles and the two singles. So really looking forward to a great tie this weekend. Uh, we didn't come here just to have fun, you know, we came here to win. I think the players make a good point about home support as well, which is always so important in Davis Cup matches. Remember, these are team matches and not just individuals. Here's a look at uh, how the Davis Cup draw plays out. Ramkumar Ramanathan will begin with Christian Sigsgaard, and then Yuki Bamri later in the day will take on Mikhail Torpegaard. Um, and of course, day two, that's tomorrow, we'll have the doubles first, where India certainly hope to have the advantage. David Sharon for now, uh, build with Ron Bopanna, who of course is in magnificent form, taking on uh, Johan Ingelsen and Frederick Nielsen, their captain and most experienced player. And of course, the reverse singles, Ramkumar Ramanathan taking on Topikord and Yuki Bhamri, Christian Seesgord. Should we get to that stage? And of course, there's every possibility we will. We'll see. All right, let's talk about the first match, which is uh, going to start in just a few minutes from now. Ramkumar Ramanathan, you mentioned, big serve, loves to come in on his serve and volley. He's up against uh, an unknown commodity, and these guys look pretty tough as the the, uh, the famed Vikings. That we they see. do, they do, Charu. I think the pressure is really on the Indians, no question about it, because we are the favorites to win this match. I think Ramkumar is clearly the favorite to win this first match. But at the end of the day, he doesn't have to do way too much. You don't have to go for the lines on every shot. You don't have to serve. He's really, really huge. You can come in, make the first volley, wait for him to pass, see what happens, play the score, get up a break. And I've always said, in Davis Cup, at home, you're required to play 65 to 70%. 30% of it will be done by the crowd. <laughs> well, Ram Kumar is a, by now a seasoned campaigner, but still, you know, it does conjure up some nerves, uh, butterflies yes. in the stomach. And how do you think he's going to handle that today? Because it's the first match, and yes. in a sense, you never know. Uh, he'll obviously look to begin quickly and well. The first two games usually make the difference, you know, where you're losing up the legs. You think you're moving, but you're not really moving. It happened to all of us as we played this, this great game for so long. And I do believe that Ram Kumar, when he gets started, there's no reason to jump out of the tracks and uh, get, get right ahead. You know, make sure you play yourself into the match. Make sure your serve is going, working well. You don't have to go for broke on every shot. And uh, again, you know, the other guy is going to have to try to get started very quickly because we're back to three set matches in Davis Cup. Yeah, so, you can run past very quickly. Yes. <laughs> One set in the bag and a break, you're done. Yeah, and of course, you said, uh, you know, take it easy, play under, but Ram Kumar gives it everything on every he shot. Does, so we'll see how does. that goes. Just a quick word on Yuki as well, because he's coming back off a, a fairly serious injury or a series of injuries. Yes. And, you know, he's back now. He has a protected ranking, but otherwise his ranking is not particularly good. Yet, uh, he seems like a cool customer, certainly cooler in a sense than Ram Kumar. Well, Yuki has got a very solid game. Off both flanks, he's very good. He's got a good first serve. He doesn't come in as much much as I would like. I'd like him to come in a bit more. But at the, end, at the end of the day, he's had a very good run recently at the Dubai qualifying. He beat the guy who won the ATP Pune tournament. So that is a huge morale booster for India and for him to come into the second match. He's going to be sort of the number two ranked Indian playing the number one ranked Dane in the opening day. So I would still favor Yuki in that match. I'm looking for potentially a two love up after the first day. But, uh, you know, 
Worst comes to the worst, it might be one all, but I do believe it could be two love. You're not partisan there at all. No. <laughs> <laughs> but you can be delighted to hear that you think that he certainly has the yes. goods. And of course, uh, the Danes are also not ranked very highly, so I wonder if they're going to play above their station as the Indians so often did at the Davis Cup. Now, the World Cup, as they call it, the Davis Cup, the World Cup of Tennis, is all about history, heritage, tradition. And here's a quick piece on just how important that is in this magnificent tournament. thing is representing your country uh, you know it's such a prestigious event it's a little more tangible here in Davis Cup when you have Denmark on the back and you play for the flag and it's a unique event in that sense and, and something that uh, I personally have always appreciated to play. it is one of the oldest tournaments in the world you know you have the hopes and aspirations of a billion odd people who expect you to go on the court and win not just for yourself but for the country yeah, it's just always a different experience every time you play for your country everything's so much bigger it's such a big show and it's just a whole nother experience so yeah it's very fun playing Davis Cup. Yeah I think it's an amazing uh, you know tournament that's uh, with great uh, you know heritage and something that's been happening as you said for 120 years. Definitely something uh, special to be a part of it. And Davis Cup is just you know a team setting and you play for your country it's, it's just a lot of fun it's definitely some of the most fun I've had in, in my career so far and you know playing a big tie like Denmark India it's just you know it adds to the fun and this is one opportunity that tennis provides on a world stage where you can represent your country and that's why Davis Cup is so prestigious and so well known and that's why everyone looks forward to playing the competition. Well there's no question that the players realize everything connected with the Davis Cup is historic and somebody who's made plenty of history is standing next to me in the bright sunshine here Vijay I mean we I said right at the top we can go on about memories but surely the Davis Cup being the only premier team tennis tournament in uh, the game for so many years just has such a special place in your heart too it certainly does Charu no question about it the reason we played the game of tennis is basically to represent India in the Davis Cup we're fortunate enough to be good enough to do that and of course play Wimbledon those are the two events that I played just as an Indian it was never me it was never my name it was more a question of just being Indian out there on the court, the tricolor and the anthem, which always meant so much to us for so long. And so when you play Davis Cup, you always expect and push yourself even further than you would play some event in some obscure place in the world, which has really been your profession for so long. But Davis Cup particularly has great meaning, and especially for us in India over the years. We've been in three Davis Cup finals, 66, of course, before tennis went open in the challenge round against Australia. And then I was fortunate enough to be a part of that team in 74 and, and of course 87 so two finals we've been in since tennis went open so it's a special moment to come back and watch this particular tie at home at the Delhi gym and of course it's a playoff for a world group position which yes. is special because very few nations get to be in the top 16 top 18 as the world group is and surely you must too be very keen that India gets back into the upper echelons of the game yes absolutely and I think there's another big match we did this as I said in 1984 we played them in Denmark we won there now we're playing them at home there's a huge match for us to win we need to be back in the world group that's where India belongs that's where India need, needs to get in and stay there and then find out if we can get kids into the top 50 in the world of tennis in singles so that we can actually continue to have a chance at getting to that final again all right what a pity that we don't have Vijay Amrit Raj anymore playing for India at this I'm better off here right now <laughs> <laughs> but we certainly have plenty of fabulous players and they'll be looking to make a mark here today let's remind you what happens on day one here at the Delhi Gymkhana Club on their grass courts Ram Kumar Ramanathan, India's number one player, drawn to play Christian Sixgord. And thereafter, Yuki Bhamri, whom Vijay does favor, will take on Mikhail Torpegord. Expect some scintillating action. The stage is set. And we thank you once again for joining us. We'll take a short break and we'll come back with an opening ceremony. And then, of course, the first match of this historic tie. Thanks for being with us.
Well, a warm and somewhat breezy welcome to all of you, ladies and gentlemen, here for the opening ceremony of this Davis Cup World Group 1 playoff. Thank you so much for joining us. Despite the circumstances, we're glad you made the time. And of course, to all of you watching on television or other devices around the world, thank you for being with us. Let me begin this opening ceremony by first welcoming, and can I request you to please put your hands together for some of the more important people here during the tie. The ball persons, line umpires, referee, and chair umpires. And of course, as they walk in, thank you very much. It's a pretty hard duty for the next few days. We welcome your presence. Also, a quick introduction to our delegates here. They are seated to my left, the president of the All India Tennis Association, Dr. Anil Jain. Also, the thank you for your applause. Also, the administrator of the Delhi Gym Khana Club, Mr. Om Partak, is here with us. Thank you. We also have Mr. Anil Khanna, the life president of the Asian Tennis Federation. And Mr. Walia, thank you so much for being with us. Let's uh, move on now to introducing our visiting team from Denmark. Please do applaud the walk-in of the team from Denmark here for this tie. Welcome indeed to Frederick Nielsen, Johannes Ingelsen, Christian Sigsgaard, Mikhail Torpegaard, Elmer Muller. Thank you for being here. And now time, ladies and gentlemen, to welcome the home team. Please do welcome the Indian team for this Davis Cup tie. Rohit Rajpal, the captain. Rohit Rajpal, the captain. Ramkumar Ramanathan, Yuki Bhamri, Prajanesh Kuneshwaran, Divish Sharan, and Rohan Bopana. Thank you for being here. Well, it's now my pleasant duty, ladies and gentlemen, to request all of you to please stand up. First, for the Denmark National Anthem. Darkhwast hai ki aap sab log khadeo jaiye. Denmark ki National Anthem ke liye pehle.
और कृपा करके खड़े ही रहिए अब भारतीय राष्ट्रीय गान के लिए लेडी जर्मन डू प्लीज रिमेन स्टैंडिंग फॉर नाउ द इंडियन नेशनल एंथम Thank you all. Just a final bit left for the opening ceremony. May I request the president of the All India Tennis Association, Dr. Anil Jain, to kindly say a word or two and declare this tie open. Hi. Good morning. I welcome you all on this legendary greens of Delhi Gym Kana Club. These greens are just second to the Wimbledon. We are very proud of you. You are. You have all have come here. now i declare this great davis cup tie 2022 open thank you sir and that uh, ends our opening ceremony thank you for being with us thank you very much that ends our opening everybody just one more quick uh, process to go through the official itf handbook for this tie will now be released by our dignitaries may i request uh, dr anil jain mr om patak to please mr anil khanna can you please all assist mr duper there as well to release the official itf handbook for this tie Well, it's a special handbook, and I hope that most of you, by the time you leave this place, will be able to get a copy as a keepsake. Thank you all, and just a short break, after which we'll return with the action. Thank you once again for being here. A magnificent look here at the center court for the opening match of this India Denmark Davis Cup tie. It's a playoff match, so rather a big one. And uh, opening ceremonies concluded there. It's always a delight to watch. Been part of it for so many years, for so long, and uh, even just watching it today after so long gives me, honestly, gives me goosebumps to look back. very fortunate to have played davis cup for so many many years and these boys today both indians and the danes have a 
great sense of both responsibility of playing for the country. Uh, we are. Ram Kumar Ramanathan will open the proceedings for India against Christian Seasgard. And then Yuki Bamri will follow against uh, Mikhail Torpoglad. The referee, the umpire rather, giving them the, the rules, which is uh, both of them know the game, of course. But uh, still, the umpire needs to be repetitious. So the Dane will call, Christian will call the toss. Let's see if he, oh, Ramkumar wins the toss. Is he going to serve first? Yep, he's going to serve first. And Christian has taken the other side. So, Charu, we're off to a good start here. Superb opening ceremonies, well done, enjoyed. I was just yeah, saying so earlier that it just still gives me goosebumps to watch that, you know, because it's such a special moment having been there for so many years, but now watching this after many long years, again, to see, I know what Ram Kumar is feeling, I know what Christian is feeling playing an away match under beautiful circumstances here. The weather is spectacular, the hospitality is second to none, Indian hospitality always is. And all the Danes that said to me yesterday at the draw ceremony that they're just truly enjoying their visit to India, which is what also Davis Cup is all about, to bring the teams together. Good morning, Vijay. Always great to hear visiting teams talk India up because we, it is a magnificent country when we say incredible India. And of course, the incredible crowd here at Delhi. And I suspect from around the country, some of the tennis fans are here, which is a wonderful start. So Ram Kumar Ramanathan. It's 27 now. All of a sudden, he was 22 when I last remember. Well, he got up quickly. He was. <laughs> From Chennai, of course, my hometown. And uh, singles ranking at 170. He has been higher. And uh, he needs to push his way back up again into the top 100 and stay there. Uh, he has a couple of titles in challenger events, which is, which is great. So he comes in with a bit of confidence. And here's the Dane. And look at... Uh, his singles ranking, Charo. So we won't pay attention to it, but it's there. <laughs> well, yes, but I'd like to quickly add that if you saw this some years ago, and we had rankings in India which were much lower than their overseas uh, opponents, uh, and they actually won. So rankings do matter, we know, and this is a massive gap between the rankings. But uh, Davis Cup is really just as famous for upset wins as it is for the favorites winning. <laughs> Charu, with all due respect, you know, rankings certainly, you know, we've talked about this a lot, that they don't matter as much in Davis Cup. But when the discrepancies, 700 places. We'll have to seriously test our math. So, yeah. but this is a good match for Ram because he opens the proceedings. He could be one love up after this. India could be one love up after this match and uh, gives Yuki a free run at the second match. So, and at the same time, the Dane, Christian has... A lot less pressure on him, to be honest, so he can play very freely. Well, yeah, perhaps that's what I was referring to. Take a free swing at just about everything, knowing that the opponent is uh, not only ranked a lot higher, and will have this level of home support, which I think the Danes have agreed is going to be a massive factor. And the fact that Ramkumar Ramanathan has this big, booming serve, loves to come in, we've talked about that, and has a very efficient first volley, which may put Sigsgord off. And... Uh, he does wear his heart on his sleeve as well, Ram Kumar Ramanathan. Plenty of smiling, plays to the crowd, which hopefully will work again to his advantage here at the Davis Cup. Now, just as a minor trivial aside, we do keep spelling Denmark as D-E-N-M-A-R-K, but the T-shirts read D-A-N, so, well, those who are into such things, you say Denmark.
Big advantage, you think, serving first for Ram? Uh, because he does have that big, steady, dependable serve. Well, Charu, you know, it's incredible. The average height of the Indian team now is just gone through the roof. <laughs> well, they're just trying to follow your footsteps, <laughs> Vijay. You know that. <laughs> I think that's wonderful. Give them a chance to serve big, and I'm glad he chose to serve first. And uh, he's got a lovely, safe second serve motion. No reason to do more than what's necessary. And I do believe that uh, I'm glad he chose to serve first. Well, you do say uh, that just take it sort of easy on your second serve, but Ramakumar Ramanathan has been known very often to go for a big second, and that seems so risky. But he has a decent percentage, even when he gives it a big second. So we'll see whether he requires that. Of course, he does that once in a while to show off when he's 40 love, and once in a while to bail himself out at difficult situations. Wonderful to see the band here, the RT Center from Nasik, they all the way. And uh, they did light it up in the last hour or so. Lovely band, weren't they? The music was great. I mean, I love the trumpets and the stuff that goes with it. There he is, our dear friend Rohit Rajpal, India's captain, and a terrific young man sitting behind him, of course, Zishan Ali, son of the late Akhtar Ali, who played Davis Cup for India for many years and uh, was our Davis Cup coach as well when we were playing. What a legend in his own right full of wonderful anecdotes after Ali. Zishan, of course, the coach now for India for quite a while. I wonder if Rohit's showing any tension here at all. He wears many caps, by the way, Rohit Rajpal, but uh, he should have reason to be fairly confident that the team is well prepared, they're playing at home, lots of home support. Here's the initial applause as we get set for action. Vijay, some more wonderful memories to be created here today. Yes, absolutely, and you could not have asked for a better perfect day for tennis for this opening match, Rampart to serve, India, Denmark. Always nice to have the first point in the bag. A nice, gentle by his standard serve out wide. It was a good body serve, that second one, into the body of Christian. Couldn't get away from it. Footwork is always a bit slow at the early stages of the match. Bit of nerves. Did he make that? It was a fairly efficient volley, but uh, the backhand Pass, did it catch the line? Brilliant. Well, he'll rule that miss. Regulation forehand cross court volley. Scored, had touched the net. That was very, very lucky for the Indian. He just about scraped through with this drop shot. Didn't expect it to get over, but unlucky for Christian. He was he was there, but then he ended up touching the net. Well done. Got away with it. There was a moment of danger there on that second serve because Christian hit a very good return. Well held. First threshold crossed. That's a good serve. So that all important opening game under his belt for Ram Kumar. Well, let's just get your thought on, on butterflies in the stomach. However much you might have played, 27 years old, favourites as well. But that first game, couple of points, always butterflies in the stomach? Yes, you just can't get away from it. As a matter of fact, I would worry 
if you didn't have butterflies in your stomach to get it out of your system. And uh, nerves are good when you get started. You just want, want to shake it off. Love one. Wow. There are better ways to start. A Davis Cup tie shows that he certainly has a few butterflies flying around in formations that are not particularly in line. He got lucky there. I think it caught the line. But Ram Kumar did a very good move here by coming in right off the bat. So that's a good approach shot. And uh, it was a close call. Look, looked out on the, on the replay, didn't it? It did. Oh, yes, it, it was out. I thought the lines person seemed to indicate it was in. It must have been in overruled by the chair. And correctly so, as we saw on the replay. Well, I tell you one thing, watching Christian play this opening service game of his, if he doesn't get in much on this, Ram Kumar has clearly the edge. The serve across the net first to be able to get in. Very shaky start. Couple of double faults in this opening game from the Danes. Hasn't found his rhythm yet on the serve. It's three in a row here. This is getting embarrassing, Vijay. I wonder what the Denmark bench is feeling at this point of time. Yeah, worried look. And of course, Denmark also set back because their number one player, the very young and talented Luna, couldn't make it. 18 some in the world. So had a good chance there for Ram Kumar with the break point. The opening service game of the Dane comes up with a good serve there. Yeah, difficult one. Down the tee, swinging away. Ploy, you'd think, trying to slice it back deep. Didn't quite come up with the, uh, come into that, but well long. Well, the Dane controlled the point there with his forehand all the way. Ram Kumar did find his way in with this one here. And it was a decent approach shot because it was deep. But uh, good forehand there from this young man from Denmark. One game all, first set. Was a spectacular sir. Just caught the tape. It was a very nervous backhand there from Ram. He, he hesitated, didn't he? Right yeah. here, right here. Yeah, he said, should and I take on the fault? Yes. Return. This time, just the easiest to backhand cross court volleys for Ram. Doesn't look perturbed at all. And I think mentally, he must be thinking that uh, the service games of Sikh's God 
If they continue to be that shaky, then he has plenty of opportunities coming up. Again, overruled by the chair umpire. Always difficult as a lines person. Very difficult. I wouldn't want that job ever. He truly hasn't timed the return just yet, Christian. What about the temperatures here in Delhi at this point of time? I mean, he is uh, crinkling up his face, showing the heat. Every one of the returns have been uh, off the frame. Another one there, giving Ram a comfortable volley. Moves forward nicely. Well done. Comfortable hold for Ram. Two games to one. First set. What are the instructions here from the captain, Rohit Rajpal? Uh, I'd bet just carry on the way you are, you get plenty of opportunities. But Vijay, your thoughts early. Time. The start is exactly as I would have thought, really, because it's just a matter of time before Ram just stays ahead, keeps his nose in front, serving ahead in this opening set. And uh, Christian would give him an opportunity here. He had a break point in the previous service game of the Dane. Serving at one two. That's the way to do it. Need to get the serving first. He controls the court well with the forehand. This is why he's good on clay, of course. Played that forehand cross court at the last minute. Right, you know, well, in a sense, we'll have to say, I'm not being too rough on Ram Kumar Ramanathan, that he did allow Sikh Scott to get out of jail in that opening service game. Uh, we got lucky there. Nice touch with the drop ball. He didn't happen. Now he comes in very nicely. The volley was right on his racket here, but if you're not quite comfortable getting there frequently, it becomes a tricky shot. It's a good serve. what Ram Kumar Ramanathan is known for, the big forehand, flashy cross-court, dipping, and Sikh's God unable to get to it. Well, he read this one, though. Ram was already there, sitting on that forehand cross-court, and that was a shoestring volley for the Dane. Tough one to make. So 30 all. Is that fourth double fault already? We haven't completed two service games yet, but another opportunity for the Indian to break serve. Quick glance at the bench by Sikh Gord. What am I supposed to do? I mean, I'm sorry. 
just not working out. So he couldn't shut it out the first service game of Sikh Court. Maybe he can now, Ram Kumar. That's the one. He took his time, but he did finally get in. I was, uh, I was talking to myself <laughs> during that whole point, <laughs> basically saying, get in, get in, get in. You know, it's tough to pass at 30 40. And that's exactly what happened there. Well done. Developed this kind of grunt on the back end, hasn't he? Ramkumar Ramanathan wasn't there some time back, but it's pretty prominent right now. At any rate, an early break for India. Closed into the net so quickly, Ram, forcing Sikh's God to just do that little extra. Sent it wide. You know, that's what I've seen him do lately. Ramkumar Ramanathan coming in on serve and is very effective with that first volley. Dug it out. He's comfortable, Charu, which is what I like. What he's done to his game, Ram. Feeling more comfortable at the net. Well done. As we've often said, a break is not a break till you can hold. So this is a... Good service game to follow up after the break of serve. Well done. Good service game from Ram Kumar. Holding on to the serve comfortably for a 4 1 lead. Well, trouble in the Danish camp in uh, some less than 20 minutes of play and a uh, smile on the Indian captain. Took him a while to get to the net on that last point there to break the serve of the Dane. He had a few chances but then finally forced his way in, which uh, came in handy of course. Tough to make the pass at that crucial stage on break point. So serving at 1-4. The I saw a glimpse of the spectators here at the Delhi Gymkhana Club. A lot of the members of this August institution. Plenty to smile about for the moment. Oh, it was another wild miss. You can see how he would be very good on clay. Christian. He's got a loopy shot there that keeps the ball in. It dips back down over the sideline and uh, forces the error. But really hits the kind of shot where you're not looking to make a volley. And for whatever it's worth, always good to see a single handed backhand. Which, of course, Six God does. Well, this is a very important game for Ram, for Ram Kumar. He needs to keep his foot on the pedal, stay focused to try to get a second break because it keeps the pressure on the opponent. 
Good sir. Well, missed a few big misses. A very effective serve. Now in the middle, just about catching the tee. And again, he's back. That's for sure. See, he's gone. The bench will be somewhat relieved. Sigh of relief, no doubt. Nice serve in the backhand corner. So, let's see if he connects better on the return here. The Dane. A break in hand. Ram serving at 4 2. Well, two crucial points here. Ram Kumar has had the break go his way in that opening service game at 30 all. And this way, the lead court. That's a tough return from the Dane, but at the same time, Ram Kumar handcuffed a little on that half volley. Did all the right things, Ram Kumar. Anticipated well. Well, this is a good point from the Dane. Plays it early and then steps forward to cut the time off there with that volley. I think he got a bit lucky on that backhand volley. And the pressure now on the Indian. 15 30, second serve. Bad luck. He went for it. Played a good point there, Christian. Ram Kumar <laughs> held on gamely, didn't he? That's the tough shot. This one was a tougher one. Caught the tape. 30 off. Often on those miss hits, you can miss time the volley. He did well to keep his enthusiasm in check, and the bench likes it. Again, miss timing the return of that second serve. Clearly disappointed the Dane on that return. By his own standards, Ramkumar Ramanathan just lowering his first serve percentage. Did I say he likes to go for the second serve? Big once in a while, it hurts. Once in a while, it does benefit him. His first double. Deuce. Well, miss it's a one thing. It must look like he had a hole in the racket there. And grass does, Vijay, in, in all fairness. Uh, the bounce is not 100%. Dependable. Two good serves after that double fault. Squeezes out that service game, Ram Kumar. 5 2 lead first set. So, a relaxed Rohit Rajpal there. He was with us in our tennis program way back in the 80s. Rohit Rajpal, Asian junior champion as well. And uh, just a wonderful, wonderful family, wonderful parents. And a great young man, Rohit Rajpal. And uh, now this guy timed the return a lot better, Christian, in that last service game of Ram Kumar. Held on to the previous service game of his convincingly so 
Let's see if he can hold on and force the Indian to serve out the first set. New balls. One with the strategy for Ram Kumar could be here. Elementary error by Sikh squad. Whether he would go for the returns and just try and close it out here or keep patient. From what we've seen that opening point, I think continuing patience by Ram Kumar Ramanathan. He got caught coming in and stuck in no man's land on that ball right there and then gives him a chance to hit the pass. Little unlucky because he did make a good volley. And Christian was still right there. Yeah, I did want to say it was a sharp four and cross court, but it just went straight into the slot four. Seeks God. Oh, brilliant. And it suggests that he might go for a few returns, being 5 2 up. Good to see Mr. Ayo there. Of in the LTA. This one using the pace of the server with a short backswing always comes in handy on grass. 15.30. That is a good serve. He needed that one at 15.30. Nice out wide in the ad court. But still 30 all. So no good time for a double fault, but gosh, he needed that serve to be in. Seeks God. <laughs> well, I think that might be his fifth double fault in about 25 minutes of play and gives the Indian a set point. And a very crucial set point at that because he can open the second set as well. Good serve down the middle. Well, he was off balance, expecting that to go long. Landed in and then uh, a little tentative with that forehand. He'll be ruining it as he gives away another break point. Set point, matter of fact, as you said, and very importantly, Ram Kumar to serve first and second. Should he break here? Another important point coming up. Needs a first serve, does Sikhs Gordon. Bit of a cautious backhand return there. Couple of set points saved. Yeah, floated just a shade too long and uh, threw Ram Kumar's backhand off. Not again! <laughs> well, Seeing God's got to be telling himself, well, I mean, will anything go my way? The crowd certainly isn't. Ah, Randeer, my good friend. To see him here too. Well, he was still very much in position there to make the shot, but 
couldn't quite control it. Set point number three. He had a look, didn't he, yeah, with the forehand? A little disappointed he missed that forehand. It's his favorite shot. And uh, maybe got a little excited, it thumped it a bit, of course. Seeks God was closing in. And that is the play to go right at the player with pace. It's tough to control it at that point. So now, for the first time in this game, the Dane had the chance to hold on. Well done, six goal and plenty of trouble. The eighth game does hold finally. Ramkumar Ramanathan not too perturbed, we think, because he knows he can close it out with his own service game. Uh, it would have been nice to have wrapped it up there, not to be. Some of the youngsters inducted into the Davis Cup team. Great experience for them. And on the other hand, Rohan Bopanna, 41, still playing a very high level of doubles tennis. First two points here, crucial. That's a wonderful pass. Again, a shoestring half volley. But this time, the Dane was ready. He set himself up nicely for this pass and then comes over it to control the pass beautifully. Oh, he was sitting on that return, wasn't he? Yeah, just that first point, though, he loves coming in. Uh, didn't quite catch the right part of the racket, which is why it dropped short, allowed Sieg's got plenty of time to line up that backhand cross court. Oh, yes. Now that's a fine volley. Just the comfort level on that volley for Ram Kumar. This one here leans in nicely. Continues the movement with the body forward. Big point that was, 30-15 up now. Oh dear, his second double fault. Well, here's a moment of truth for the Indian. And on this surface, particularly on grass, which you said right at the top of the tie, take it easy with the second serve, don't have to go too hard. Might be the better order. Oh, that ball stayed awfully low. And the Dane got very cautious with the pass. This one here. And he had to really scoop it up to try to clear the net. And now set point number four for the Indian, but this time on his own serve. That's the play. Decent first serve, closes out the set. About 30 minutes of play or so. And uh, comfortable all that. 6 3.
All set for the second set. Wonder what new we'll see from Sieg's Gord. Well, it'll be nice to get a serve in for starters, which he does to begin the second. But uh, Ramkumar Ramanathan for India, doing everything required of him. 6 3 in the opening set. Very careful backhand slide, setting up many of his approaches to the net. Also serving better than his opponent. That's what they say when they mean. Well, that's what they mean when they say unforced error. He was truly sitting on the short forehand here. Could have gone either way with it. If I was to guess, I think the bounce kind of undid him. Just bounced a little more than he expected. Not an easy shot. The lob. It was a good slice approach here, and he had a look at the pass there. He was sitting on it. Good smash. Yeah, the, the backhand topspin pass is not quite Ramkumar's forte. I'm sure he thought about it. Said, should I, should I not? No, I think we're going to go over. Of course, miss hit it. Well, he held it well. Not quite sure about the choice of shot here by the Dane. This one here, it had a lot of height, giving Ram enough time to get there, and then flicks it cross court for the winner. Pretty old. Well, the passing shot was sliced, and uh, Sieg's go off thinking I'm just going to dink it cross court. Right, wrong angle. the first firm volley we've seen from the Dane. This one here, he moves in nicely for this volley, closes in. He certainly felt good about it. And the first fist pump of the day, I think. <laughs> so relatively easy hold for the Dane. Do his confidence a little bit of good here, opening well in the second set, going down pretty easily in the first. I wonder if he's doing something different. Certainly a higher first serve percentage, that helps. So, a good hold on that first game of the second set. And uh, serving ahead now in the second set, Ram Kumar serving glove one.
That's a nice serve out wide. Still mistiming the return. The grass does look like it's playing very true, though, to be fairness to the court. That's a great volley. That is uh, truly a wonderful second serve here, and then comes in nicely, stays low to play the cross court volley. Well done. Well, I think we have been talking about his new 40. Loves to chase the serve in. Very effective first volley. You can put it away. Very tough to reach. Oh, was that long? He will regret that. Six god. Could have put it anywhere. A little higher than he would have liked. Took it a bit easy on that backhand pass. So one game all in the second set. I heard a rumor yesterday, Charu, that the Delhi might have some rain today. Is that a true or false? You might have actually heard that through me because I read it in the newspaper and that was for yesterday, not so much today. So but you're the one who gave me the wrong information. <laughs> yeah, beg your pardon. I, you know, <laughs> I wish I hadn't learned how to read. <laughs> Goodness. Well, we hope the rain stays away. Oh, it's in. makes it. It's in. A good pass there. He comes in off the cross court. Ram Kumar's strength. He controls the pass nicely. Love 30. Good chance for the Indian for an early break of serve. Well, long shot there once the lob got over his head. And uh, a clever shot from Ram. And he sees him close in, so he was able to get it over. But it's a very good lob. And three chances to break early. Safety up the middle. Saves one. Good to see Ram chase that lob, previous point, making it that much more difficult for Sikhs Gord and tried to do too much with it. This one a lot easier, of course. Give it a big bash. Two more break points for the Indian. Still. Break point. Better serving by the Dane to dig himself out of uh, what was a rather large hole. Well, I was just rethinking Ram not going to the net on that earlier backhand approach, but Got away with it. Two games to one with the break.
Well, Nielsen, the captain there on the right of your screen. What do we say? What do we talk about? We talk about heritage because his grandfather played for Denmark in yes. what, the 1920s or so. Their famous campaign, I think they got to the semi finals in 1927. How's that for trivia? I hope I remember wow. the year right. Wonderful. But uh, here is the grandson, of course, a veteran now for Denmark at 37 or so, still playing and uh, is listed as the playing captain. Doubles. So, doubles. Yes. Uh, very famous win at Wimbledon some years ago. Of course, a few ATP tournament wins in the, the Chennai Open win here in India in 2014. Yes, he said, he told me yesterday he's been there three times. So. Well, a set up and a break in hand. No time to take your foot off the pedal. Yeah, a little bit of showboating. It was a very good first volley. So, the court does the work for you. If your serve is good enough. Once again, holding that forehand to the last minute. And you can see there, Ram feeling quite comfortable. There we are. Did, did I say he likes playing for the gallery? I think there was one certainly for the crowd here. Good sir. Quite relaxed at this point. And racing through it. A good reach by Sikh Scott, unfortunately going long. And India hold rather really easily this time. Reaches. Ram Kumar Ramanathan just increasing in confidence and showing it too. So, are we ready for a second break of serve here in this? This is the one to push home with. I would try to get in on every short ball you can get force the Dane into some more areas. Even the toss something he's not happy with. It's not happy with very much at all. Just a little late on that return. Ram Kumar Ramanathan was a nice serve out wide. And really does depend on the first serve. Because the second I'm sure that Ram Kumar will deal with very efficiently. It's just if Sigs God can up his first serve percentage. Yes, Ram Kumar's favorite forehand whips it on the line this time. The off return here, but then he holds it nicely, so doesn't quite commit to the shot till the last minute. Ball staying low. You could see the discomfort there on that last backhand from Christian. 15, and again in trouble on the serve. And I can't help thinking that the threat there of Ramkumar and Ramnathan to come in, of course he didn't, it was just a threat, may also have put Sikh's guard off. And yeah, you're right, stayed very low. Wonderful slice backhand by Ramkumar. See too many long points. That one was threatening to be one. A wry smile by Ram Kumar, knowing he'd done all the hard work, and then his favorite forehand dumped into the net when he had the opportunity. Exactly a textbook volley, this one, but uh, takes a full blooded swing at it. I know you would have affected a nice forehand volley there, but 
these swing volleys are preferred by lots of international players these days, and they make it too. So, a very big game for the Dane to hold on to, and he does, but still it's the Indian up a set and a break. Looking quite relaxed there in the captain's chair. And, uh... You know, Vijay, I talked to you about the weather some time back, the temperatures, and, and even though we think they're pretty comfortable uh, because this is early spring, late winter in New Delhi, uh, but I also read, okay, perhaps I shouldn't have, but I read in the papers that we're talking about the hottest day at this time of the year for many years today. So the temperature is certainly uncomfortable for the Danes uh, coming where they do. From, from Denmark, but pretty cold winter, right now. Of course. Yeah, winter. Well, we did play our last match against Denmark in 84. It was zero Celsius outdoors, and we played outdoors. And I remember that your hands were uh, largely in the warmers. <laughs> pocket heaters in my pocket, and I said I wasn't going to practice because I was going to get worse. So we did go up 2 love on the first day, though, in that tie in 84. Essential part of the kit when you tour cold countries, hand warmers. better return and you can't keep digging them out of your shoelaces try to move out of the way Six scored upset with himself, went for that lob, but uh, hopelessly inaccurate. Perhaps the wrong choice of shot there. Oh, On the line, good there. serve. Down the tee. Still not quite timing the ball well enough. And uh, this one there, mistiming it yet again. Ram Kumar and firmly in command. 6 3, 4 2. Just want to draw attention on the accuracy and speed of the Ram Kumar Ramanathan serve. He's worked very hard on it. Today, not serving express. And just keeping it accurate on both sides, and it's working to his advantage in a big way. Uh, salt to the wounds there for the Dane. It is an unusual error because. Yeah, it does have a good smash. That's the play. When you're ahead and you've got a chance at the second serve. For the first time in this match, Ram Kumar comes in very nicely and then takes full advantage of being at the net. Yeah, that sliced approach to begin with just kept so low. Seeks got it. No option but to just bump it up and make it easy for Ram Kumar. Yes, well done. 
seems quite simple when you do the right thing. He found his way in very quickly. And then a comfortable put away for three more break points to get a double break of serve. Good serve. Just a quick word about uh, the spectators here, Vijay. I mean, they've been appreciative of uh, Ram Kumar's effort, but there hasn't been any massive partisan kind of cheering. They've been very decent so far. Much better. Well, he's firmly in command, isn't he? It was six all in the third set tie break. This is a different story. <laughs> Still what, a break point. Yeah, watching all the action here at the Delhi Gymkhana Club, where top-level tennis returns after many, many years, 1966. So you can calculate that, plenty of decades, as we see Mandir Singh, our friend Mil, the Olympic Association. Plenty of opportunities to approach the net with some of those backhands. I'm surprised he didn't give, give that forehand a bash. Time to serve a double, but uh, this really puts him behind the eight ball yet again, and Ram with the chance now to again serve out the match. This is looking worse as time goes for Sikh's God, showing a little bit of uh, fatigue. Okay, oh, that's terrible. For Denmark. Goes seven. down again. Broken again in the second set. Went down 3 6 in the opener. Ram Kumar Ramanathan of India will come back to take this opening tie against Denmark when we return. So far, so good for the Indian camp. Rohit Rajpal showing plenty of trust in his player, Ramkumar Ramanathan. Some delicious serving, wonderful play at the net. Missed a few volleys, but those were tough ones. Didn't miss much in terms of the easy ones. Rohit Rajpal wearing many hats. The DLTA, the treasurer of the AITA, now captain here of the Davis Cup. He should be a happy man. Here we go, Ramkumar Ramanathan hoping to close this. Opening match. Oh, that trail of mistimed returns continues for Six Gord. Control that forehand cross court volley. Didn't try and do too much with it. And then Ram Kumar now within two points. A victory. Oh, yes. Snap that backhand cross court return. Quite brilliant. And Ram Kumar Ramanathan is surprised by the ferocity of that return. 
pulled it across, kept it in. <laughs> Terrific serve, out wide, at pace. <laughs> Match points for Ramkumar Ramanathan and India in this opening match, World Group 1 playoff tie with Delhi Gymkhana Club. Okay. And that's it. Yeah. Fittingly, because of a wonderful yeah. serve, spinning out wide. He seeks God today, no match for Ramkumar Ramanathan. Of course, a big differential in terms of international singles rankings. Ramkumar Ramanathan buoyed by a good serve, some efficient volleying, support by the crowd, and a slightly below par performance by his Danish counterpart. Does make it 1-0 for India in this tie, which has been played in India after a well, three-year gap. And they've started well. Handshakes all around the Indian camp should be very pleased with this rather Easy start, if I can use that term. No disrespect, of course, to Denmark. Vijay Amrit Raj down there. He'll be talking to Ram Kumar soon enough. And as uh, Christian Siegsgaard wonders what could have been, we'll be right back. Welcome back to our coverage here at the Delhi Gymkhana Club. Just to show you some of the moments of that opening match between Ramkumar Ramanathan of India taking on Christian Siegsgaard of Denmark. Well, pretty simple for the Indian as Siegsgaard just couldn't quite get into rhythm. Not with the returns, not with his passing shots, not with his volleys. And uh, even though Ramkumar made some elementary errors, still clearly superior, serving very well. Throwing Siegsgaard off. Taking the open set 6 3. And uh, that forehand just long. Not too many forehand opportunities, but his volume was quite yes. brilliant from Kumar Ramanathan. That forehand cross court being one of the Take best. The and he continued to serve very well throughout this opening match. Make differential of almost um, 600 or a little more in their international rankings. But we have said that Davis Cup does uh, present the opportunity for some. 
big upsets. Well, he held it well. Ram Kumar, lovely dink cross court volley there. Showed good hands in the net. Only a couple of times did Tarsi Scott show that uh, he was comfortable at the net. Otherwise, it was all Ram Kumar, Ramanathan, and uh, luck too at times oh, with him. Wrong. But the benefit he of uh, the net court several times. Serving a little patchy for the Dane. And of course, presenting some wonderful opportunities for Ramkumar Ramanathan to play to the spectators as well. That one quite brilliant. That's the play. Ramkumar Ramanathan taking it quite easily. 6 3, 6 2, and it's time to talk to him. Vijay Amritraj is down courtside. Thank you. Ram, you played a fantastic uh, opening set when you got started. What was going through your mind that early part, the first couple of games in the set? Uh, I was just, uh, you know, trying to make as many returns as I could on this uh, grass and uh, trying to move in as much as I can and, uh, you know, play with a lot of uh, first serves and uh, play smart. And I think uh, that did the trick with all the team behind, with the crowd behind. Thank you guys for coming out. I think uh, at 5-3, when you were serving for the for the set, it looked like it got a little tight there for a moment, right? What was going through your head at that time? Uh, I think, uh, you know, uh, I, I kept saying to take my time, but uh, still I was rushing a little bit, uh, you know, that made the points closer. But uh, uh, eventually, you know, I, I served, uh, I had a good second, a few good second serves, and uh, I trusted at the net. So, you know, the, that uh, got me through. And early part of the second set, the same thing. I was saying to myself, just to make as many as I can and, you know, get that first break. Well, watching you play today, I felt that you were so much more mature on the grass court than ever before. It looked like you felt comfortable. This, this should be very good for you also for the rest of the tour. I mean, uh, over the years playing, uh, you know, been uh, losing a lot of matches, and you know, you learn a lot from it. And, uh, you know, uh, uh, been on the tour for the last, uh, you know, 10 years, you know, that made me uh, grow as a person and as a player. So I'm pretty happy about it and uh, really happy to give uh, our country the first point. Well, well done, Ram. Well done. Really good effort by you. Captain? You look very relaxed sitting in the chair once you got the first break. How did you feel? Yeah, we were looking for the first break, and uh, I think the minute it came, it was a sign of relief. And uh, the whole idea was to stick to the strategy and uh, put a lot of pressure on his serve. And uh, I think the second serve started to crack, and I told Ram that, you know, once in a while, go for it. Make it even more uh, sort of uh, up the pressure so that uh, you... And then, you know, don't, don't uh, wait for the right chance to come in, but, but be the first one to get in there. And uh, so we, stick to a, we stuck to a good strategy, and I think I think worked well so far. Quick thought on the second match? Yeah, just uh, I think uh, Ram did a great job. Uh, takes the pressure off for Yuki coming in, uh, as opposed to a one down. So, uh, so yeah, hoping that uh, Yuki will do the trick too as well and stick to our strategy. Well, sitting up in the commentary position. Yes, Ram? No, and uh, also today's Bob's birthday, so this one is for him. Uh, and hopefully, you know, Yuki wins the second match and, uh, you know, we can get a 2-0 lead. Oh, fantastic. This is, this is really a very, very good start. Ram, congratulations. Captain, congratulations. Charu, back up to you. Thanks so much, Vijay, for getting the thoughts of Ram Kumar Ramanathan. Very efficient today. You can make that out by that first serve percentage, 80 to 63. That will almost always do the trick. But it's a double fault that, uh, well, there were plenty for Denmark. Points one of the net, also favoring the Indian. Very efficient start for India. Ram Kumar Ramanathan taking it against Christian Sigsgaard. 6-3, 6-2. When we come back after this uh, slightly extended break, it's going to be the India number two, Yuki Bhamri, who does have a protected ranking, but if you go by rankings, it's a lot closer against Mikhail Torpegord. And uh, the advantage, clearly, as Rohit Rajpal said, with India here at the Delhi Gymkhana Club. You're watching the Davis Cup by Rocket and World uh, World Group Play One, uh, Group One playoffs. We will be right back. Thank you so much for joining the action, and uh, we promise you plenty of that when we return.
Thanks so much for joining us for our coverage of the Davis Cup by Rakuten World Group 1 playoffs at the Delhi Gymkhana Club, where on their grass courts, action returns after 66 years. 56, beg your pardon, from 1966, from the last time Davis Cup matches were held here. So in the opening match, India's number one, Ram Kumar Ramanathan, easily getting past Christian Sigsgaard of Denmark, three and two. Some very efficient serving, good volleying, and now Yuki Bhambri will try and emulate India's number one by uh, getting the better of Mikhail Torpegord. And here they are looking every inch, the Danish Viking Torpegord. And uh, wonderful to see lots of spectators here at the Delhi Gymkhana Club. They've uh, certainly prettied up the center court. Lots of stands built on the rest of the courts. The luxury of uh, 30 grass courts here at uh, this wonderful club. And I'm uh, truly glad that the members here, and of course, the public in general, is being allowed as uh, matters have opened up a bit. Spectators. Birthday boy to the left, Rohan Bopanna. Congratulations. Turns 42, I think, today. And still playing some very efficient doubles. He'll be partnering, we think, David Sharan. That's been listed. Uh, but that's, of course, tomorrow. So a glimpse of Zishan Ali as well, the Indian coach. And the man who will be seen on centre court in just a while, Yuki Bamri. There he is. By now, his patented uh, support below the patella. His knees have given him trouble over the years. But uh, he has come back fairly strongly. A terrific win, as Vijayam Ritaj was mentioning, in Dubai a short while ago against Julie Vaseli, who won the ATP event in Pune just a short while from now. And Yuki, of course, getting to that second round too, did reasonably well. So India, boosted by that Ramkumar Ramanathan performance, will be looking for Yuki Bhamri to emulate that, take a two love lead. And wouldn't that be great for the doubles players? In the comic box with me, good afternoon to Vijay Amritraj. Vijay, great to see the crowds back and the world of sport was missing the spectators. But here they've done very well to create these stands here and it's being enjoyed by many. Two to be able to pull those matches out. But Ram feel, felt quite relaxed in, in talking after the match. I thought he was comfortable with what he did. Rohit, of course, um, very happy with a quick one-two punch in that uh, in the two sets. And uh, once Ram Kumar got rolling, I think he was in command of that match completely. There was very little Christian could do to hurt him. And, uh, I think the strategy is for Yuki to kind of press as well if he could and get in and tight, tight as well. I don't, I, I know very little about Yuki's opponent, uh, Mikhail, so we'll wait to see how he gets started. Except, of course, uh, that he looks every inch the Danish Viking <laughs> with the long hair. And, uh, of course, very tall, so we wonder if he has a big serve on him. We'll get a taste of that pretty soon. But Yuki is such a sweet striker of the ball and can volley pretty efficiently. Playing some, a lot of doubles these days, Yuki. As a singles career, just uh, was a little up and down. Roller coaster. Also wearing that um, forearm band, Yuki. Keep the elbow out of trouble. Does have a protected ranking, Yuki, in a sense. Uh, or did at the start of the year, about um, 160 or something was. But otherwise, the ranking now slipping massively because of his being inactive because of injury for quite a while. Rohit Rajpal in conversation with Yuki. But otherwise still stays very fit, doesn't he? Yuki, uh, he's had his share of injuries. It's been nagging him for quite a while, but he's got the bands everywhere. But he's he's ready. He's, he's looking for a good 12 months of good play. He's not using his protected ranking at the moment, but uh, he's comfortable. He is a solid performer from both flanks, so I'm really looking forward to seeing him play well on the grass. You know, Ram Kumar Ramanathan on occasion can be pretty uh, expressive, if not volatile on court, but Yuki quite the opposite, because most of the times I've seen him play, he's been a very cool customer, to the point where he might even seem a little phlegmatic, just walking around side to side, not quite getting carried away with either a great point or uh, a miss. 
and uh, one has to applaud the fact that with his maturity has come this patience, this relaxed outlook on court, and uh, he doesn't quite tend to work up the crowd as Rankumar on occasion does. Not that he had any need to in that opening match, it went away pretty easily for him. Uh, always nice to see spectators at a sporting venue, and, and uh, you know, let's get it through the words of Vijay Amritraj, it does lift performances. Certainly does, Charu, and also the atmosphere is wonderful, and the, the crowd is there and truly into it. One thing about these two dreadful years the world has seen, they had some events in different parts of the world in a bubble with no spectators, and, and the response really was, my goodness, hard to play under the circumstances. And in that respect, of course, we're glad that the pandemic has, well, just backed off to the extent that we can have crowds here. The decision wouldn't have been easy for the organizers, but eventually they uh, did consider all angles, especially the medical angle, and decided that with a mix of wearing masks and just limiting the number of spectators, we would be able to have them here at this uh, tie, the Delhi Gymkhana Club. Most of them, of course, members of the club, but uh, it's open to the public. The pass is being distributed quite freely. And if you are in and around Delhi, then do get in touch with the organizers because we'd love to have your company if there are any more passes available. As you can see, uh, Tropic Ward, big and tall, on grass, not always the most beneficial thing. The ball tends to keep low, but if he has a big serve on him, it would be a terrific advantage. Yeah, Indians win the toss yet again. And I think Yuki has decided to serve first, but switching ends for the Dane. You know, body language in these things are also very crucial, especially in the early stages of the match. You know, that's what I was trying to set up with Yuki Bamri's body language, because it doesn't look like he's all fired up and ready to go. Maybe he conserves energy, who knows, with his experience now. But Tropegard here, bouncing around and showing a lot of confidence. We'll see how the match opens up, but uh, good to see that the Danes are ready for battle. Just watching them hit here. He's using his uh, old ranking, Yuki, not the protected ranking, so that's why you see the 590 up there on the board, each uh, 29. I'm surprised he hasn't won a challenger tournament, to be honest, Yuki Bambri. Turned pro in 2008, so he's been around for a while. It's just the injuries, I think, that come at very inopportune moments mm. for Yuki. A wonderful tennis family here in Delhi. He has his opponent. So, in terms of rankings, much higher. Age, quite similar. And uh, hasn't done too much winning either in terms of titles. But I think we've said enough times now that the Davis Cup does bring special performances, many notable performances, well above station. And could this be Topicard's day? You know, everything else pointing to the Indian, home support, the fact that they're playing on grass. Not that internationally too many players play on grass anymore anyway, just a handful of tournaments, Vijay, so it seems like yeah. it just is not a surface anybody is really comfortable with. Well, it's just a few events before the championships at Wimbledon on the grass. But otherwise, the surface seems to be mainly clay, indoors and hard court, all playing relatively slow with heavier balls because the rackets are very aerodynamic as we speak and uh, the player has also gotten to be much taller than the 70s and 80s so between that and the racket we tend to have shorter points with the serve but the balls have been made heavier the courts have been made slower around the world and so you see longer rallies as we see the president of the all india tennis association there dr anil jain to his left, Vandir Singh, our old mate of the Olympic Association, and of course, a, a world renowned shooter himself, and Mr. Padhya, and of course, uh, the Secretary General of the IITA, Mr. Anil Dupar, on the far right of the screen. And I'm sure they'll all be delighted that uh, big time tennis returns to India after 2019. 
who is the Danish contingent. We saw their ambassador, uh, Spready Svana, at uh, the dinner the night before. I'm sure he wouldn't be too delighted with his team's performance so far, but we know that they were always likely to be uh, the underdogs on grass in India. to receive one minute Thirty seconds. Top much taller, and uh, if he can somehow get his serves on target, then he's going to make life a little difficult for Yuki Bamri. We'll have to say his uh, teammate Seeks Gord is not quite on the mark. Plenty of double faults, especially in the opening set. He's one of their younger members may play the doubles with. Uh, Frederick Nielsen. End of warm up. What a big occasion for youngsters to travel to different countries and represent their country. I'm sure your first uh, tour overseas with the Indian team, Vijay, you'd remember very fondly. Well, in, in our day, to be honest, the, the situations of uh, consistency of court, consistency of advantages because you have a home court a advantage all those things made a huge difference today yeah. the, the level of what a country has to provide is much more standard than they used to be way back when and uh, i remember going to countries different parts of the world and playing in zero celsius one two degrees but we also always bided our time for them to come to india and then we put them in the summer heat <laughs> And, uh, representing Denmark and we were enjoying it, and, and they were not able to complete the set. Ready. Here Quite we normal. go. Play. Match number two. India leading this tie. One love. Thank you very much. Players are ready. There we go. Limit the movement a bit. Topagar. Ladies and gentlemen, quite please happy take to uh, just quickly. wait till we are going to start the spectators now. settle down. Layers are ready. Baddy seems to be think, uh, seeing the uh, lighter side of it. I don't think they're too aware of what's going on. Okay, kids, settle down. Are you good to start? All set. Next, second service. You could see that coming as he was no, going 50. after the second serve. Opens up with the double fault. Well, better footwork of the mark there. Safety on. Miss it return. An easy put away for Torpegorn. Oh. oh, yes. Well left. By Yuki, the crowd appreciating 15, the seven. judgment there. It was a lovely approach deep on the backhand. And uh, if he'd wanted to volley that, it could have been relatively simple, but used his judgment well. Yuki Bambri may not have won much, but he is vastly experienced.
Tion. Well done. Yuki likes to do that. He works the court a bit more from the back court. Ram Kumar was looking to get yeah, in, but uh, this one here, the Dane well behind the baseline, trying to keep it in. Out wide. Right off the bat, the Indian has a chance to no, break. I think that point right there, a bigger rally than anything we saw in that first match. Both content to stay at the baseline to begin with. Left, first service. Let first service. Torpe God, of course, is bigger and stronger looking than uh, Seek's God earlier. And he does seem to have a heavy first serve on him, which is a big advantage on the surface. Yeah, I timed that coming pretty well. Yes. Ball toss in the right spot there on a serve. Yes, nice safe approach shot there from Yuki. Just enough to do the damage. This one here. Very little the Dane could do. You have mentioned already that Yuki Bamri is just such a sweet glimmer of striker of the ball. Caught that forehand flush. Sent it deep. It's in for the yeah. break of serve. India. Dropped in very quickly. The forehand cross court here. This is a good approach, but short of length. And fell right on the line. There's the reaction from the Indian. Well done. Yuki, you can just the taller stand without the red. Okay? I'm sure the lines persons are always delighted, <laughs> even though that was uh, perilously close to being wide. Drop just in. So, an early break. Rohit Rajpal will be delighted, as, to the, as will the rest of the Indian team members. David Sharan, Rajnesh Kuneshwaran, huh? the coach at the back, cheering Yuki something. on. A big contingent of youngsters not, not as well, like some of them hitting partners, yeah, some of them junior the Davis Cup players. But for me it was not so coming up. Yuki Palmri has me it was started out. off in style. Yeah, but not so coming up. For me it was out. How many times have we said, break's not a break till you... No, uh, for me it was out. ...can seal it with your own serve. Let's see what Yuki has to offer. Yuki... Yuki Palmri. One love with the break. I'm seeing here again struggling a bit with the timing. Forty left. Much more of a safety issue with with Yuki, he does it very well. 
going for that second serve at 30 love up. But it had a safety margin on it as well, as you can see there. Good angle, 40 love. Game. Easily done, and nice yeah. serve out wide. I don't think Topic Ward is particularly comfortable with a single handed two backhand, two prefers left. the two handed backhand. He stuck his racket Always out. Nice. The bottom of the net. So Yuki Bahamri starts out in good style. His right thigh, by the way, quadriceps also strapped up. Uh, may not be his 100% well, physically, Yuki. Started out well. Too long. Big serve by the Big Dane. 15 left. Followed by a double. 15. Will not please Nielsen. Giving away cheap points, already a breakdown. Well, Yuki quite content keeping the ball in play. And this is a short ball. He could have gone anywhere with it. And overplays the forehand cross court. Forehand by Torpig Ward. What a contrast to the previous match. We've barely seen these players come to the net, but still early days, so maybe Yuki will chase a few. Forty seven. It's not quite his comfort zone, if I remember the way Yuki has performed before injury. He's got He's so good off both flanks. But he can volley, so when he does come in, he makes some very good ones. And I'd like to see him come in a bit more. Game, Denmark. So top of goal on the scoreboard here Indian in this second match. By two games to one. But uh, the Indian. Here's a breakup. So down a break, the Danes, Tight. early in this first set. So the Indian serving behind in the opening set. Serving a 2-1. Well, apart from the fact that he's a sweet striker of the ball, Yuki Bhamri, he also tends to play a very clever game. Very good sense of the court. It's court craft you can't argue with. And as you were saying, Vijay, very comfortable off both flanks. Doesn't seem to have a weakness, really. But as you've said, 
maybe a little more reluctant to get to the net. And that's strange because he's playing a lot more doubles and seems very comfortable with the volleying. Perhaps we'll see more of that as we go along in this second match. Out. Uh. Love 50. Well, he did the right thing. Just overhitting that forehand, but he was chasing it up. And uh, only just long, perhaps. So a couple of unforced errors there yeah, from 30. UK give the Dane a look at the Indian serve. Love 30. He waited on it, Yuki, thinking it's going to go wide, and of course, just landed in. So that uh, chalk dusting up. Perhaps his attention was diverted. So three unforced uh, errors, very unusual for this young man. But uh, the Dane has three chances to get the break back. Fifteen forty saves one. Let's serve out wide. Not an easy one to dig out. The return straight at the body. And Yuki Bambi did very well, emphasizing 30, 40. what we were talking about. He's actually fairly comfortable with volleying, just tends not to come in often enough. It's pretty straightforward volley there. In the open court, still break point. A bit of reaction there from the Dane. First break of serve for Denmark today, Two I should say. Goal. This is the early Four stage six, of the second six. set. This is a good backhand. He kept it low Four here, six. dipped it quite well. A tough volley there for Yuki. And there's some uh, good body language from this young man. Two games old for set. Big moment for the Danish team and, of course, for Torpegaard. Let me get that right, Torpegaard. Follows that breakup with a brilliant serve out wide, swinging away, no chance for Yuki. Spring in the step of the Dane now. Ball toss of the Dane clearly shows he's going wide. Not quite sure he can serve a kick up the middle. Two good serves. Thirty left. Thank you very much for the ball. You see him there, cut the serve right at the point of impact. Pity. He was sitting on the forehand cross court. Bambri. Played that point rather well. Moving around side to side. Maybe just going wide. Good passage of play for the Danes. Okay. Denmark. Well, he found the spot on the serve right into the forehand body of the opponent. 
And it's back on serve in this first set. 3 2. Words of support, no doubt, and some strategy, some tactics being discussed by the Indian captain, Rohit Rajpal, to the right, and Yuki Bhamri, who will just have to up his game a bit. Good comeback here by the Danes. Torpy Gord breaking back, and then a very efficient service game. Frederick Nielsen will be quite delighted with this uh, passage as his team. Shows some metal trying to get back into this tie. Divit Charan will only see him tomorrow. If he does get to play with uh, Rohan Bapanna, the doubles. Bapanna still going very strong. Of course, birthday boy today. Just to mention that once again. The big boy from Kurg. Where is he? Not in the frame right now. Okay, what does Yuki come back with? That's one of his favorite shots. Off forehand goes line, and uh, much as Topic Ward was right there, it's hugely overhits it. The ball comes off the ground fairly quick, and uh, if you don't quite have that continental grip, which no one has today, it's harder to take a swing at the at the ball of both flanks. Oh dear. Now that could be an expensive error there for the Indian. 2-3, 15-30. Once again, I'd like to suggest that he changed his shot, was ready to go cross court and I said, well, let me go behind him. They change. Let first service. Oh, we had a look at the forehand and went for it. There all. He is taking a few more chances, this young man from Denmark. This one here, just over the baseline. Yeah, was right in the slot. Just overplayed it a bit. Can't blame him for taking a big swing at it. Oh. Good second. 40, 30. And got caught late with the back swing. Good second serve from Bambri and both of the last points there, this one, and then comes Three in nice and tight, four. cuts off the volley. Well done. Yeah, I think I've mentioned it before, that area is particularly beneficial for Yuki as uh, Torpigord doesn't quite like that single-handed backhand return, much prefers the big booming two-handed backhand. 
Well, he does have a good first ball, doesn't he? Safety left. Well, unlike the previous match where uh, Seek scored a pretty low first serve percentage, wasn't quite that sharp either. This man's got a big serve. Well, he is timing the ball a lot better, isn't he, than uh, Christian Fair did in the first left. match. You can see here, this one struck well, forcing the error. But... Would have been a spectacular re return on the run by Yuki. Just missed it. Big, big. That, I think, the biggest of the day. Well, perhaps he needs to do a little more of that, Yuki. Putting uh, pressure on top of Gorn by 15. getting to the net. Well, that's a pretty solid volley there. Forcing the Dane to come up with the lob long. Okay, Denmark. Well done. Good hold you by... Hold, please. The Dane and it's 4-3 for Denmark in this first set. The Danes were in the world group uh, in the late 80s, I think 88, 89 for a while, and then again 93, 94. And they haven't had too much success thereafter, so there's a big opportunity for them from group one. Of course, uh, the whole Davis Cup format, Vijay, has changed in 2019, it is, uh, where they play a big final week. And, uh, I don't know whether you're okay with the changes, but Obviously, the calendar has been so crowded that they needed that one week to just finish everything off. Yes, and I think they're changing it again. So, it's going to be moved around a couple of other cities. So, not quite made up the mind yet on the whole thing. Serving a 3-4 with new balls. I don't think uh, Kyle is going to find his way to the net either. Both quite happy slugging it out from the baseline. Once again, just 30, indicating that the bounce cannot be trusted as much as or is not as regulation as the hard courts that these guys normally play on. And every once in a while, the extra bounce or the low bounce, just undoing these ground strokes by both players, certainly Yuki. I wonder if he'll be better served trying to get to the net as quickly as possible. Like that. I know that was a really short ball for him to come in on, obviously. Already committed, but a fine volley.
That's a very tough shot in a fast court. Top spin love that the Dane went for here on this volley of Bambri. This one here tried to flick it over his head. But well long. Yeah, the best part about that backhand volley is that it was deep, hurrying that lob by Topagord. And therefore the inaccuracy. That's what you need. Good swinging serve out wide. And uh, Yuki Bambri digs himself out of a bit of a hole here. Oh, he did get a bit lucky there. Great pickup by the Dane. Good movement. I really thought he had him with a drop shot here with this one. Use. Well struck. But look at him. Nick the top of the net. So Bambi lost his timing. Good effort by the Dane. Big boy ran in very quickly showing his athleticism and, of course, his apology as well. I can't uh, stop wondering whether Yuki might have been just a little put off by that slip in the slide. You tend to take your eye away. Did well to reach that cross-court dink, but pushed it wide. So it's just a tougher game for a change for Yuki. He does have a fine volley. Just see that right there. Just come in a bit more. Three, four, deuce. There was a short return, but sweet striking by Yuki Bambri. Ladies and gentlemen, as a quickie to both players, please stay seated during... Well, the, the safe, game. very, very safe off-forehand approach by Bambri. Give them a game point. He was sitting on that pass. Okay. Pulled back with a bit of nerves there, just ever so slightly. Great pick up, another lead cord. Four games Yuki off. does well to push it up. But he had his chance, didn't he? <laughs> Clear look. <laughs> well, he did everything right there. Got lucky with the net too. But Tortogord just underplaying that forehand. So much of that court was empty. He'd be kicking himself right now. Allowing Yuki to level at 4 all. We're on serve, but Torpegord certainly making it more difficult for Yuki than uh, Sieg's Gord did for Ram Kumar. Even though most of it's at the baseline, still a much more absorbing battle. This one, second tie on the opening day. He does like the, the off forehand here, playing it behind the opponent very nicely. And as you've said often enough, very safely. And that's his game, very cleverly constructed. Doesn't go for the lines unless forced to.
Well, I do think Yuki ought to choose that backhand slice a lot more Safety often as Ramkumar did because the ball stays much lower. Topi Gore, a big boy, I find it difficult to stay low for that. So, a real chance now. 15 30. Well done. Fine volley in the corner. And uh, puts himself in a commanding lead here. This is a good volley. He does well to get it in play, the Dane. Couple of break points now. Hot. Previous points, the kind of point really gets the spectators going. Very well played by Yuki Bhamri. No. Got caught a little off balance, Yuki. 30 40. He was not in good position here to do hit the shot he wanted. So easy to pull this one wide, which he did. He realizes it right away. Still break point. Yes, the slice. Staying low. And literally stopped right there where it bounced and uh, had a chance, but didn't India quite clear the net. Five, five games to four, we'll serve for the first set. Frederick Nielsen and White, the captain to the right, whispering some words of uh, wisdom. There's that last point. Watch out for the backhand slice. Time. When you get there. Here it comes. Ball stays low. And Topi Gord, just a little slow on it. Had to take another step forward. Couldn't quite get the amount of topspin he needed. So Yuki Bhabri breaking through. The second time in this opening set. Now puts himself in position to close it out with his own service game. It may not be all that easy, but uh, his experience level is much better now, much higher. Yuki Bhamri, and we expect that with some clever serving, he can set up some opportunities at the net. When you go wide in the deuce court with that serve, like we just saw there, it really no, has 15. to be wide enough to get away from the opponent, but this is a beautifully struck stretch down the line from the Dane. He squeezed it in from literally outside the court, so... That is a high reserve unless you're very comfortable with a short angle wide in the deuce court. It was an exceptional return, I must add, by Topi Gord. Got plenty of zip on it. Quite brilliant. Stretch volley there. Played it dead near the net. 15 all. Well, this is a good play by the Dane. This backhand up the line. And a marvellous stretch volley from uh, Yuki.
15-30. I'm just about keeping that in play. The unforced error gets him down 15-30. What a pickup by the Dane. I didn't think he would get it. It was such a wonderful half volley from Yuki Bambri. But uh, take a look at this again. This one here. Very clever shot. But look, he, goodness, that was a really good pickup. Yeah, a slide and a stretch and did just enough to put Yuki off, who might have actually been rejoicing a little early, saying, wow, wow, what a great half volley. And then missed the overhead backhand. Not an easy shot, of course. Two break points to get back to five all. That's a rather brave second serve there at 15.40. 30.40. It did appear that uh, Topic wasn't quite expecting it, so he had to take an extra step before he might go down the middle. Plus, he was waiting for the backhand return with the backhand grip, I might add. The change of grip was too late. Still break point. Good serve, down the tee. At such a critical time, yes. a brave serve makes it and the first chant that we've heard Vijay today by this crowd here at the Delhi Gymkhana Club about uh, had to get tight. up the home team it had to get a bit tight for <laughs> the right. out of the shell Yuki giving them the opportunity As soon as he slid the forehand there, waiting yet again with the backhand grip. India. And from being down to break points, he slides this one by and then that volley gives him a set point. Game in first set, well done. India. Catches the line and takes the opening set here in the second four. match. India's Yuki Bambri through 6-4. He's under threat in this game as well, but he pulled it out against uh, Torpegor. And India continue their fine run here in the World Group 1 playoff match. We'll be right back for the second set. Birthday boy, Rohan Bapana. Happy birthday, man from Kur. Brave soldier, now general of the Indian tennis team. Yeah. Well, he'll be seen in action tomorrow, but it's all about Yuki Bambri for the moment. Seen with his uh, skipper, Rohit Rajpal. There it is, the final moment. Out wide, catching a bit of the chalk, and Topigord does not contend. Ready? Well played. Right. Moments of trouble, did break in the very first game, Topic War, and then now uh, broken himself. 
So a little patchy that opening set, but uh, that's being unnecessarily hard. He did close Second it out 6 4. Torfagor back with uh, renewed strategy, no doubt. He'll serve first. <laughs> yeah. Just a hint of a question by Torpegorn, but uh, Chair Empire agrees it was wide. set up by Yuki Bambri. Stayed comfortably with the point from the baseline and then the favorite off forehand. Catching the Dane on the wrong foot, but this is a finely controlled drop volley there. Well done. And slides will do it for you time and again as the ball keeps low. Top of big and tall. Don't get down enough on that. So, this crucial first game of the second set. You keep Ambri with a chance, 15-30. that that was a big error plenty of time to line up that backhand line snatched a bit oh, double fault coming at a crucial time for the Indian, gives him a chance to break in the opening game of the second. Yeah, that doubles uh, got Torpegor muttering to himself. Yeah, that's an expensive error. <laughs> Pays to be tall. Big reach, timed it well. Use. Dips this one nicely, but he is a good athlete. This uh, Topagor, the Dane, yeah, well, well done. certainly showing more emotion upset when he's down and big fist pump knowing he has the advantage now in the opening game Oh, the footfall. 
quick chair, uh, quick check for the chair umpire. Was long. Well, uh, for me, it was really close as well. I have to say. Easy. I almost think he might have been in two minds on that backhand approach. Bambri. This one here, I think he changed his mind. It might have wanted to be a deep approach shot and then decided to play the drop. Then it got caught between both. Giving the Dane a chance. He wasn't coming in, was he? He had the slider but pulled back. There we are. It's the backhand slice, and he plays it well. Yuki Bambri earning him a lot of dividend. Didn't go cross court. Longest game of the match. Wide. Went for a big one. The top of the board. But that's what happens when you don't want to come in. <laughs> <laughs> and he can volley. He hasn't come in much, has he? The team loves it. Yes. What was he waiting for? To show us the skill so late, of course, it was a short return. Well, this is a good shot from Bambri, but a fine drop volley. <laughs> there you go. I think you surprised him as well, didn't it? The serving's gotten a little erratic by Topic Ward here, which is why he's been able to close it out. First serve's quite wild. Again, very accurate. Not overplaying that backhand cross court, Yuki. Advantage. India. Well done. What I really like about what Yuki is doing here is that he hasn't taken his eye off the ball on the importance of this first game of the second and hanging tough on the Dane serve. So, another chance to break in this opening game of the second. And there it is. He just stayed the course. Bambri. And uh, gets the break of serve. First game, second set. Hmm. Well, I certainly know the feeling. <laughs> you don't want to create even more uneven bounce there on the court. He'll be very disappointed. Try to hang in there for so long, as I said, the longest game of the match so far. But uh, I, I, I did feel that he was letting his emotions get the better of him. His serving uh, became more erratic, and eventually that double fault. Yuki will take it all. Should be about the hottest part of the day, 1.30 local time. I wonder if that too could be a factor, forget, as the points spot, yeah. are certainly longer than this the first match. match. Yuki preferring a cap, not so. Topigor, your thoughts? Cap, no cap? 
for most of your career? Entirely an individual choice, obviously. Some players are happy with the headband, some people are happy with the visor, and uh, a lot with the cap. I remember Ramesh Krishnan, very fond of the cap. I think this court is quick enough to really be at the net more often than not. And uh, he's going to have so much more success by finishing the points off fairly quickly. Not only have we been saying it, but Yuki is also showing it. He's actually pretty comfortable at the net. As I said, playing a lot of doubles, very comfortable with uh, the volleying. Not up. Yeah, I thought so myself. I think that was off the second bounce. Topico not delighted with that call. I, I did think it, it was not up. I call it twice. And every once in a while, of course, the player's head is down and you don't you tend not to notice it. Certainly well, let's take a look at the uh, replay here, whether he picked it up or not. This one here. Probably see it again. Great slide, great attempt though by Topigar. We'll have to give him that. But the chair umpire saw something and called it. Not so sure. He's the boss. Interestingly, two double faults in a row from Bambri, trying to consolidate the break of serve in this early part of the second. Still, chance for two love. And he's waiting with a backhand grip. The Dane. And uh, it's a bit late because the court is quick enough to force that error. This one here. Take a look again. So the racket face is so closed by the time he's able to come around the ball. Yes, well done. Two love. I have to say, clever serving. All the hard running Yuki Bambri tried to do too much with that. I must say, Topagord has been chasing the drop shots pretty effectively. He's obviously anticipating them well and showing a lot of athleticism. A good run. Well, was never going to make it. So another clever lob by Yuki Bambri. He really closed in, didn't he? The Dane. Thirty-eight. 
I think Tropogor also has had so much more success by going in. Was a deep return on the run by Yuki Bambri. Yeah, Topico unable to handle it. Looks to his team for some succor, some help, some support. What am I supposed to do? Kind of bounced up on me, made it awkward. Yuki doing well to just put in an extra effort here in the early part of the second set. 40 seconds. I think he's requesting a first serve. <laughs> yes. Well, let's take the chance. Well, back to muttering to himself, top of the board. It's difficult on a surface like this to keep a long rally going. The miss it comes soon enough. It's overplaying that forehand. Finally, the chance rise again from the home crowd. Giving the little bit uh, of extra impetus to Yuki Bambri. an expensive miss and Yuki doing very well to hang in there making Topigo play that one extra shot that was actually very very good high lob a lot to think about before it came down for the Dane good save yes that point was the set and the match right there for a double break. Back to Deuce. Yuki Bahan replay that point. A few rare forehand slices, setting it up well, and rushing to the net and closing it out. Doesn't play that very often, but uh, good strategy, keeping it low. Torpegan with the high ball, and Yuki finishing it off well. Guessing correctly, Yuki was coming to the tee. Decent return. Topigo getting caught. And Yuki Bahami with the double break. Vijay just said that could be the inset match, but we'll see. Plenty of action still left. India, though, two breaks up. In the second set, taking the first 6 4. Frederick Nielsen looking on stoically. So is Rohit Rajpal for the moment. Just quiet, trusting Yuki Bamri to and uh, soldier forward for a two love lead in this tie. 
Yuki just a gentle fist bump. Well played, Yuki. Zishan Ali, the coach of the back, surely whispering a few words as well. Encouragement. The Indian camp for the moment delighted. Lots of applause for Yuki Bhamri. And you've said this before, but I'll say it again. Wonderful to see crowds back in sport after the pandemic created so much trouble around the world. The Delhi Gymkhana, the AITA, DLT, all very careful about uh, letting only a certain number of spectators in. But the seating has been arranged and all is good here at the Delhi Gymkhana Club. Closed it in well, Yuki, in an efficient volley. Yeah. Good choice to force his way in. Well, it's all getting away from the Danes very quickly. Well, Torpigo ought to be telling himself, and I'm sure Nielsen told him the same thing, that, listen, you broke back a couple of times in that opening set, and you can do it. Just remain focused on the job. Well, he's starting to do things that he's not used to doing. And uh, it makes you want to believe that, not quite thrown in the towel, but uncomfortable, no question. It does seem like a tactical change here of trying to end the point quickly and unsettle Yuki. Some sharp returns, but that's always risky. Once again, I think he's playing to a different strategy now. Top of Gord, that time worked for him. There we have it. Four games to love, second set. Very much in a commanding position. Yuki Bambri. There's a pretty hefty breeze across the court adding to the problems here of the Danes. Not easy to handle. Big serve by the Big Dane. We saw some of that in the opening set. Just rushing through a little Torbegard for me. So it seems, Vijay. Playing quickly, you mean? Yes, not taking time between points. Three set matches can go very quickly. There we are. Holds on, but it's still two breaks away. India well in command of this match. 6-4-4-1. India 
Games five, four games to one. Sorry. <laughs> Can't win either way. With Rajpal, Yuki Bhambri, quite content, if I can use that term now. 6 4 4 1. It's all on Yuki's racket to come back and make it 5 1. And then we'll see. Just another look at uh, a fairly stiff breeze on the court, despite all the pr protective seating. There are plenty of uh, tunnels and uh, just an added element to deal with. And Yuki Bhambri has done very well. His slice backhand working well, his off forehand doing the damage. And off late, ah, look at uh, Yash Pandey, the team physio in the orange cap. Always one of the most essential members of the team. Runs a wonderful outfit in Bangalore. Uh, I'm going there somewhat regularly because of a uh, shoulder problem, but <laughs> hope to sort it out. And physios these days, really, I mean, the, the most, the busiest in any sporting squad. You have a right shoulder problem? Sadly, no golf, no tennis, no nothing. It's very frustrating. <laughs> Anticipating well, he could have gone cross court, chose the tougher option. Yuki Palmri read it and put it away brilliantly. Good coverage at the net. I think the sun there at the other end, the server's end is in in the eye. Good serve. Well, there he is again, a thorough pro. Was that intentional? It certainly worked out very well for Todd the board. Shot a backswing on the return of serve here, guiding the ball up the line, using the server space. Yeah, it looks to me like he uh, went through seven options before he played that. Good serve, down the tee. And a point now for a 5-1 lead in the second. Game, India. Well, you boys, please. It's really been a freight train going downhill for the Indians, really crushing the Danes. And clearly, a surface they're not accustomed to. But both the boys, Ram Kumar and Yuki, under the gun because they were the favourites coming in, living up to expectations, playing good, solid tennis to try and close this opening day out in four sets serving to stay in the match 1-5 
he's been serving like a a titan, a great Dane, Torpegord. Even the previous game, it was virtually aces all the way through. Well, the whips, that forehand cross court with great confidence. But it's a serving, really, that's uh, upped for Torpegord. And yet he is two breaks behind. Banging them down with some amount of anger as well. Let me add frustration to 30, anger. 50. Well, that ball stayed nice and low. For the Dane, 40, but just the comfort level isn't there. Four, Both of them, this one stayed very low, but the slice itself wasn't quite a cross court slice. Inside out slice, but he played it very crisply. <laughs> Tried to do the same thing, just a 40, tad under hit. Got around it nicely for the aggressive forehand that caused the error. Yes. This one here, he's way in the tram lines on the left. Opening Yuki Bambri. Plenty of the right side was open. Okay, Denmark. So Torfegard holds. A little bit of difficulty. Yuki Bhamri will try and come back to wrap this second match up for India. 6 4, 5 2 to the Indian. So, Rohit Rajpal looking very comfortable, I wonder. I'm sure he's thinking what he's going to have for dinner tonight. <laughs> I was about to say the same thing, that his mind must be moving forward now. <laughs> All right, this is just about done and dusted, what next? But he wears so many hats that I wonder if he's got 15 other organizational matters to think of, <laughs> including maybe more people wanting to come tomorrow. Yes. All those passes to be given I'm away. I'm sure there will be. It's a Saturday, of course, tomorrow. They close out with the start off with the doubles at 10 a.m. local time followed by the two singles matches to follow. So, in a very commanding position here, the Indians, one match in the bag, and Yuki Bambri serving to make it 2-0 for the Indians.
to slow it down on him a bit. Maybe a bit of a miss hit. Didn't read it well, Yuki. Played well there. Almost a little too far away from the ball when he played the slice. Well, he had it right in the slot. Anticipated it well, Topigort. Very upset at himself, missing that backhand return. Nerves at the start of a match, and certainly a few trying to close it out, but Yuki is very experienced. Yet, as we've seen, Vijay, even the biggest and the best players sometimes find it difficult to close it out. Surprising there for Yuki because he often doesn't do overplay the ball. He just, well, he just did. This one here, just overplaying it a bit. Fifteen thirty. Just a hint of concern on Yuki's face. And that'll only increase now. In trouble, under pressure. Well, that's the danger of the wide serve. This time, it looked like the Dane was sitting right on that forehand cross court, waiting for it right there. The grip was in place. So he gets the one break back. Fortunately, Yuki has the insurance break in hand. Now the Dane will serve at 3-5 to stay in the match. A poor game by Yuki's standards. Just a few too many unforced errors in the middle of it. Almost looked like he expected that second serve to be wide and eventually chased it in good return. Firm cracking back and cross court by Torpegord. And for the half volley drop shot again. Well done. The serve gave him the chance to get around the ball there. Steps around it nicely. Well, just a slight mirroring of the first set, Vijay, where, again, Yuki did very well at the start and then allowed himself to be broken. Became a little narrower than he might have liked in here, too. Just wilting a bit at this stage. Well, in his defense, we have to say he hasn't let go, has he? No, he's playing with a fair amount of vigor, the great Dane. There he is, this time putting away the overhead efficiently. Game done, Max. And well done again. And yet again, Yuki Bhambri of India will have an opportunity to come back 
and try and take the second match. He does lead 6-4, 5-4, a breakup in this second match. Penny for their thoughts. A hint of a smile still for Rohit Rajpal, but uh, inside, of course, he will know that there's just a spot of bother for Yuki Bhamri, and uh, he'll have to play this game very carefully, strategically. Time. Of course, as always, the first point or two, very critical. Does he come in as quickly as he can or trusts his backcourt game? We'll see. So, first couple of points here. Vital for both players. Thank you. Got down nicely for the volley. Very safe one. This one here, good safety on that volley. I think the strategy is pretty clear. Get to the net as quickly as you can, Yuki. Very well played by the Dane. Very aggressive from the backcourt. And this one doing the damage. Very deep, catching the chalk. Yuki a little late on it. As you said, Topigor hanging on very tough in that last rally. Yuki does need to get to the net as quickly as he can. These are some tense moments deep in the second set. I tell you, he moved very well for a big man, the Dane. But Yuki held firm at the net. Fine volley. 30. This one here, and then that one. Well done. So good anticipation, good hands. And Torpegord moved well, so did Yuki Bambri. And that critical point. We've seen this play before. Torpegor once again, very athletic, got to the ball. Yuki anticipated it well, no mistakes. 14. It's always a risky 15. shot, this one, when you're getting in. But he seems to be very comfortable with it. Covers the net nicely at the net. Yuki Bambri. And uh, that lovely volley from Yuki Bambri gives him two match points. To put India to love up. There it is. 
Well played, Yuki. Again, race to the net and put away that forehand volley, swinging away. Torpegaard, a good display here. A fighter, no doubt, right, Rajpal. With a pat on the back to the Dane, but of course, a big hug for his team member, Yuki Palmri, closing it out in two sets. 6 4, 6 4. And India now with a 2 0 lead in this Davis Cup Group 1 playoff match at the Delhi Gymkhana Club. The crowd got to see some great tennis by the Indians. The two singles matches going in favor of the home team, as expected. On grass here at the Delhi Gymkhana Club, where action returns after 50 odd years. The team and the brass delighted, and they should be. You can anticipate, you can have the advantage, but you still have to deliver to execute. Yuki Palmri, after a bit of a wobble in both the sets, eventually taking it four and four. The final point, very efficient volley, deep. Torpegon did reach it, unable to push it back onto court. Coach Zishan, the rest of the junior members, all delighting in the fact that India have taken a 2-0 lead against Denmark in this home tie. Davis Cup Group 1 playoff. Yuki hung on very tough as he takes on those bandages below his knee. That's his uh, standard go-to now, just protecting those knees. And of course, some tape on uh, the right quadriceps as well, put there by Yash Pandey. And birthday boy would have enjoyed it, Rohan Papana. You'll be seen in action tomorrow. The doubles will tell you more about that. For the moment, we'll take a very short break. We will hear from Yuki Palmri along with Vijay Amritraj in just a couple of moments. Stay with us. Group 1 playoffs, India lead handsomely at the end of the singles matches on the opening day. Two love over Denmark. It's been pretty relatively easy going for the Indian team. Ramkumar Ramanathan beginning it uh, fairly comfortably, 3-2. and two. And then uh, Yuki Bhamri only just a short while ago getting the better of the big tall torpedo. Did run into a bit of trouble, closing it out in the end, led by two breaks, gave one back. And then uh, did very well to close it out. Torpegord into deep. Did try and uh, come back into the match with some crushing serves. And just catch on the line. Yuki Bahamri continued to play safe. And of course, didn't get to the net. He threatened as much as he could. 
quite brilliant early in the set that backhand volley did miss a couple of uh, simple ones but we'll have to credit Torbegord with hanging tough showing a lot of resolve just not good enough on the day showed a lot of athleticism oh, he did get a bit lucky there great pick up by the day. every once in a while rushing to the net Yuki Palmer with the error then but Yuki doing very well to stay with it a lot of the exchanges from the back court top of was uh, on top but at the net we have to give it to Yuki and there it is That's the point that Yuki played to wrap it all up later as well very confident of both flanks, Mamri. Served reasonably efficiently. Torbegord, though, with a heavier serve. Again, very accurate. Not Running the day side to side. With some very clever, safe play. And that brilliant anticipation. That's the final point. Arms up in the Put away that air, Yuki Swing Palmri, away. giving on. India a 2-0 lead in the, the Davis Cup tie at the Delhi Jumkana Club. We are now ready to hear from Yuki. Yuki, well He's done. There with Vijay. Well done, great match, uh, especially fighting back in that second set when things got a little difficult. Actually, second set was a bit easier. Uh, I got off to a good, good start, especially in the first, uh, first game. So that calmed down the nerves a bit, but I thought Tope got fought well. It was difficult out there, but I'm, you know, I think the team supported me well, and I got my game together and, and played it good out there. What was your feeling going into the first set after we were one love up? Obviously, it gave you a lot more confidence of being one love up. You're playing their number one player. Thoughts? Yeah, pressure is completely off. The pressure is on them when you're, when you're the number two guy, playing the number one guy up one love already. Um, so, yeah, I mean, and I started off well as well, which is what felt very important for me, especially getting off to a good start. And, and as the match progressed, felt better and better out there and more confident. And I think that was the key today. It looked like the court was playing fairly quick and uh, bounce was off here and light a little bit. But uh, did you find the timing a bit off today? A little bit. But, um, you know, that's why we had the whole week of practice coming in. And I think that served us well. We were ready, did a lot of uh, serve and rolling, did a lot of slices, and, and that's what ended up working today. Yeah, it was a bit difficult to time the strokes on the baseline, but I think we, um, you know, Ram especially as well served, served really well and came, came to net a lot more, and I think followed him as well. Well, you're off to a good start. It's really great to see you free of injury and playing freely now. Good season ahead of you. Absolutely. I'm excited. I was... Uh, I, I fought for the tie to be in, in Delhi. Um, it's, it's been such a long time since I home tie, and, and it was uh, great for me to come back and, and play here. Hopefully, we can uh, win 3 0 and then enjoy the dead rubber. Yuki, really great to see you back after so many difficult years and injuries and so on and so forth. Really good to have you back. Thank you. Thank you. Rohit, Captain, two love up. You've been smiling through the whole match. Yeah, I know. I mean, uh, we had some crunch moments, but I think uh, Yuki did very well to come through. Um, struck, you know, he, he struck to the strategy, and, uh, and I thought that was good. I think we've, the chips, low chips were troubling them, so we, that when we needed the points, we, we kept it low and, and uh, used it at the right time. Uh, two love up now, very comfortable position to be in after day one. Any changes for the doubles tomorrow? No, I think we'll, we'll be good to go with uh, uh, Rohan and... Uh, and the witch, and uh, we'll stick to our uh, pair. And uh, yeah, it's, uh, you know, we, we would have thought about things had it been different, but uh, I think we're, we're good to go tomorrow with, with the doubles with the team. Well, this is a good match to win, obviously, because it's a relegation match, playoff match to get back into the world group. It would be great to win tomorrow. Certainly, we look forward to that. I think, I think the boys are playing well, we belong there. And uh, you know, from there on, we want to take it one tie at a time and hopefully do some damage like you guys did. Captain, well done. Yuki, well done. You. Charu, back to you. Thank you, Vijay. Good tribute of, uh, for Rohit to Vijay, who had plenty of fabulous moments. So here's a reminder of what's going to happen on day two of this Davis Cup World Group 1 playoff. The doubles will begin with uh, David Sharan and Rohan Bapana, we think. Uh, Rohit, of course, confirmed that. Johannes Ingelson, Frederick Nielsen, their opponents. And then, of course, time for the reverse singles. Ramkumar Ramanathan, Yuki, doing very well on day one. Thank you so much for your company. 
We hope that we'll enjoy it on day two as well as India trying to move into the world group.